In the Kursk region, Russian authorities have announced the mandatory evacuation of two districts at once, Rilsky and Komotovsky. This was announced by the region's governor Smirnov. According to him, the evacuation will affect populated areas located at a distance of up to 15 kilometers from the border with Ukraine. Russians are perplexed and ask the Kremlin questions about the real situation in the Kursk region. How this relates to the statements about the imminent liberation of the region remains unclear. The head of the Russian general staff, Gerasimov, promised a month ago that the Russian army would take full control of the region's territory within 24 hours of the Ukrainian armed forces invasion. However, the fighting is still only intensifying. It is also unclear whether the residents of the districts will ever be able to return home. The point of the sanitary zone is that it should be deserted. Russian observer Anatoly Nesmian comments on the news. According to incoming information, as of mid-September, active military actions are taking place in Glushkovoy, Sudzansky and Koronevsky districts of the Kursk region. At the same time, evacuation has not yet been announced in the Sudzansky district. The Russian authorities refused to organize a green corridor, essentially leaving local residents to the mercy of fate. The population of the Rilsk district is about 14,000 people. Komotovsky, more than 8,000. Meanwhile, Ukraine invites the UN and the Red Cross to participate in humanitarian activities in certain areas of the Kursk region. Recall, Russian pro-war publics are writing about the worsening situation for Russian troops in the area of the village of Vesyoloy in the Glushkovsky district of the Kursk region. Panic is growing in Z channels due to the successes of the Ukrainian army in the area of the third breakthrough of the Russian border in the Kursk region. Russian pro-war public page Two Majors writes about the difficult situation for Russian troops in the village of Vesyoloy in the Glushkovsky district. In addition, the Ukrainian armed forces are landing troops in the village of Noviput. If the information from the Z channels is confirmed, it will mean that the Ukrainian armed forces are already in two villages in the third place of the border breakthrough in the Kursk region, Vesyol and Noviput. Another footage has been released of the fire that took place following the Ukrainian army attack with Atikms missiles on the Belbek airfield in Sevastopol city in the Crimean Peninsula. The footage was released by Russian servicemen. It should be noted that during the attack on May 14, an S-400 anti-aircraft missile complex, two MiG-31, one Su-27 aircraft belonging to the Russian army were destroyed, and the MiG-29 aircraft was damaged. The Russian military personnel have said that there was no alarm signal prior the incident, and that the air defense system was not activated. The military said that no attempt was made to shoot down Ukrainian missiles and blamed the military leadership for that. Нету снарядов, нахуй, он просто уебал, и 400-ка даже не работает, все. Светится прямо надо мной, ебать. Нихуя. Заебись, нахуй, вот это да, блядь. Вот это просто пиздец, нахуй. Так вот и живем, пацаны, нахуй. Вон, все горит, ебать, опять в КП уебало. Он все дымище хуярит. 21-й рубин! Все, пизда. Не было никакой информации о ракетной опасности. Никто никого не предупредил. Лидер Рубин. Просто уебало и все. Все в дыму нахуй. Лидер Рубин. Ебаный в рот нахуй. Вот это поспал, блядь. Ну пиздец там все. Вон, вон что-то, блядь, летит нахуй. В самолет, в самолет, походу, попал. Там стоянка самолетная. Потому что, бля, пиздец хуярит. Как тут пацаны не курить нахуй, ёбаный в рот. 21 вон, рубину. Вон там вон где светится, там панцеристы живут, а сейчас орут, там что-то бегают нахуй. А хули они все проебали? Вон там далеко, вот где фонари светятся, там стоит панцирь нахуй. Тоже не сработало нихуя. Ничего не сработало. Все, все горит там, просто пиздец. Вот. Там просто пожар нахуй хуярит. Дымище стоит. Ёбаный в рот, блядь.
на вход ночью нахуй чуть-чуть разъебали складно